Now we can start working on the forgot password and reset password functions. So to do that, we need to first uncomment the feature that we had in the config file, which was uh, reset passwords. So once that's done, then we'll be able to make calls to those requests. The next thing we need to make sure of is that we have a way of sending emails. So I'm going to set up mine in the .env file. Now, uh, if you head down, you'll see that there's already some default information set up in here and it's using MailHog as the host, which I'm not going to be using. I'm going to be using MailTrap. So for me, I would be going into my MailTrap account and it's free. Uh, once you go to the demo inbox tab and you open up the under the integrations, there's a little drop down and go to Laravel. OK, just grab your credentials. These are mine. They're not going to work for you. You'll have your own. If you ever need to reset them, you can reset credentials right here. So back to the text editor. Now I can take all of this and paste in my credentials. OK, mail from address. I'm going to change this to contact at holdersconduct.com. And then mail from app name will just be app name. Uh, and that's coming in from up here, Holders Conduct. Fantastic. So now that our credentials are set up, we can go ahead and start creating the page. So we can close this and we can close the API folder, open up the client folder, head down to pages and in our auth folder now, we can create a new file and we'll call it forgot password view. Okay, so here I'm just going to open up some template tags. And I'm going to paste in a bunch of code. And all this is doing is just a basic container. Once we send the request, it's going to return a message. So that message will be displayed here. And uh, this I basically just got from a previous Laravel installation. So I just jacked it from there. OK, so there's a form. There's a submit. We're sending in the email. We're going to have some validation on it. There's a button. And that's pretty much it. I also want to add some script tags. And the first thing we are going to do is add a data section. And we're going to have a form. And the form is only going to have one field. And then we also need an array for errors. And we need an empty string for the message just in case we get one back, which we will once we start sending it in. The next thing I want to do is set up our methods, which there's only going to be one. And we're going to do async, submit. We're going to have a try catch. And then the first thing that we're going to do is make a call to that. CSRF token, or we need to make sure that we get it. So this Axios get Sanctum CSRF cookie. And on the next line, we're going to make the request for the forgot password. So Axios host, and then it's going to be API forgot password. We're going to be sending in this form. And then here, we're going to do then response equals this message, which is from the data property that we have, equals response message. And then for our error, we're going to have this errors equals error response data errors. And I need to make sure that there's a D here. OK, so this API forgot password route, we already have this route set up. So if we go to our API folder and we go to the vendor files. These are the Laravel files. OK, head down to Laravel, Fortify, Routes, and there's a routes.php. In here is the list of all of the routes that Laravel is using for our authentication. So we already have these set up. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy the whole thing just so that we can have a reference. And then close this up, go to our routes file, api.php, and I'm going to go ahead and paste them here. And so what we'll do is as we go through them, we'll just check off what it is we already have. Okay, and let me 
make sure to shrink this so that we don't mistakenly get any calls or any requests. Okay, so we've already done login. We've already done, yeah, this is just the rest of login, which we finished already. Logout is done. Uh, reset passwords. This is the one that we need. Uh, let me see if there's anything. Okay, so we have registration, which we've already done. Okay, so the other ones that we have are the reset passwords, which is what we're going to be using. And it has forgot password. And remember, because we put in our config fortify uh, config page, we put the prefix of API. So that's why all of our requests are going to be getting that API front end, all of our authentication requests. Okay, but in here, this is the post that we're making. Post forgot password. And we can actually get rid of these now because these are just uh, grabbing the page, the pages, but we don't need these. Okay, these are the two that we're going to be working on now. Fantastic. Now, this password reset link controller, if we go down to our vendor folder again and go to Laravel, Fortify, Source, HTTP, Controllers, and then let me open this up a bit, password reset link controller. We are getting the email and then sending a notification. That's what we're doing down here. If it's successful, it's sending a notification for us. Okay, however, the problem is the since we're using it as an api we're not going to be getting the correct email if we go down to framework uh, we need to go up to off notifications and then password uh, reset password notification this is what it's leveraging to send us the notification if we head down it's it's basically creating a callback it's making a two mail callback and it's constructing it with a token now, the notifiable that it's using is mail. This is basically what's going on. It's just sending an email. It's uh, adding the token and the email, and that's what we should be getting back from the email once we send it in. Uh, once you send the request for, for getting the password, you get the email. In the email should also include the token with the email so that you can be verified as a user. Really, the only thing we need to do is sort of switch up this uh, mailable message we just need to use this method this create url using and then we need to adjust the url because right now it's coming from a uh, localhost 8 8000 and we need it to come from uh 3000 so how we would do that we're we're just going to be using this create url using but we need to go to api app providers right down to the fortify service provider this is just the bootable methods for our login our two-factor just different things that the fortify authenticator needs now i'm sure there are a bunch of different ways to do this this is the most efficient way that i found to do it and it seems to work okay so that's how i'm going to show you so right under this public function boot we need to create a new function and we're going to make it a protected function we're going to call it register response findings and in this function we are going to use that reset password notification and then we're going to create url using function we need to pass in the notifiable and we also need to pass in the token okay so in here we want to return url env and then we're going to use that spa variable that we have. So spa URL. We're going to concatenate slash auth slash reset password. We haven't made this page yet, but we'll make it in a second. Slash. We need some curly brackets in here. And then we need to pass in the token. Question mark. Email equals more curly brackets. And we're going to pass in the notifiable. And then we're going to use the function get email or password reset and then we need a semicolon at the end we need to call this register response binding so we come up to the register function and then we just say this register response bindings and that should be good okay so it looks like i'm missing a closing parentheses and i need to remove one from up here and i need to spell this correctly so notifiable 
no more error and we are importing the reset password so we're pulling in the notification i think we can try this now and see if we at least get an email let's grab a user email and now uh, we'll refresh this first let's make sure that our validation is working okay it is the email field is required i could probably put that up there but it's fine so we'll go ahead paste it in click submit okay we have emailed your password reset link fantastic so now let's check our mail and we have it to make sure everything's okay so it's to macy z from coders conduct uh you are receiving this email okay now if we take a look here this is where it should be sending us to we can click it but it's not going to do anything this page could not be found because we haven't made it yet but that's fine so we know that this now works so we can close this now this page is going to be a little tricky because the email that we're sending okay we have the notifiable that we're passing in and the token so it's basically just an id and a special token so this is the route that we need to actually have it needs to have a token and it needs to have an id okay so if we go down to our pages we are going to create a new folder and we're going to call it reset password actually we're going to use reset password just like it is in the route so the next thing we need to have is the token so we're going to create another file and we're going to call it token dot view and because we are using reset password as the route we also need to add another file in here and it's going to be an empty file we're going to call it index dot view that needs to be there in order to pass all the other information that we need for the route in the token file, uh, we can close this now and this. We are going to create some HTML. I'm going to paste all this stuff in. Don't worry, I will have this, all of this code available on GitHub and I'll leave a link for that down in the description for you guys. So again, we are going to be passing in a message. This is the message that we're getting. We have another form because now we have to put in our email. We have to use the form.email and we have validation for our error uh, validation errors for our email password new password also password confirmation and the submit button so let's go down and in our script tags we're going to start off with our data section Okay, we're going to have a form and then we're going to pass in the email that we're getting from the user. We're going to pass in the token and that token is going to be coming in from the email. So we don't have to worry about that here, but we'll do that in a second. So password, password confirmation. After that, we need to have an array, an empty array for our errors also empty strings for our message under the data section we are going to have a mounted lifecycle hook and in it we're going to be grabbing this dot form email equals this query email sorry this route query email and then this form token equals this route params token Again, this is just from the Laravel documentation that I got this. Uh, I need a comma here. Okay, and then we need our method, which is going to be async submit. We're going to have a try catch. And here we're going to have await this Axios host API reset password. And then we're going to pass in the form. Then response equals this message equals response message. Now, after the await, 
we're going to redirect essentially. So this router replace, and we're just going to send them back to the off login. Okay. And for errors, this errors equals error response data errors. Okay. Fantastic. So now let's see what we have. So again, in our header, it's auth reset password. This is the token. And then this is the email that it's passing through. So we're already getting that. And if we open up our inspect tools, this is the page that we are supposed to be getting with the email, the, pa the new password and the confirmed password. So let's take a look really quick. I want to show you in the view dev tools. Uh, let's just open this up a little bit. Bring this down, go down to next and go to the page. You see that email is already in there and the token is already being passed. So the only thing that we need to add now is the password and the password confirmation. So now if we go to new password, I'll just say password one password one commit. Why your password has been reset and then it took us back to our login page. Okay, so now we can go ahead and log in. I need that email. Copy, paste, password one. Commit. Great, we were sent back to our dashboard because now we're officially logged in. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I will make sure to put all the links down in the description so that, so that you'll be able to have access to the code. And I'll even leave the link to MailTrap down there in case you want to check it out and you haven't used it yet. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.